Oh, hi there. Can I speak to Erica from the supporters relation team? Um, oh, we spoke a number of weeks ago, but um, I, or at least we emailed back and forth. Uh, it's Alex Hills. Um, oh, well, it was about an email that she sent, so I really wanted to speak to her specifically if I can. Um, yeah, I mean, because it was her, you know, her who sent the email, so it's, you know, her, I mean, I'm assuming you don't, you, you aren't privy to that email. Maybe you are, I'm not sure. Okay, um, right, well, I'm calling as an individual now, just to, to, to put that out there first, but um, Unity 4J is a group for um, Julian Assange, and I was the outreach coordinator before, I am not now, but I sent this email a number of weeks ago, and we got a response back from Erica, and it was very supportive, um, and I just wanted to talk to her specifically, because it was her who came up with a positive statement, I'm assuming it's her writing, if it isn't, then perhaps I can talk to the person who actually wrote the response. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it would have been, it would have come from somewhere above her, potentially, what she said. Sure, sure. Well, I mean, what happened was the initial email um, she sent was incredibly supportive and basically said Amnesty International um, agrees that, that this situation needs to be resolved. And, you know, quite a few supportive statements and just setting out the case as the facts as, as you guys saw it. And we were really pleased to see that. Um, and we were hoping you guys would then make it public what you said. Um, because obviously we could say what you said, but we, you know, it, it would have become better from coming from you. So I sent back a response as the outreach director well, that I was then. Um, I sent back a response saying, hey, we really want to put this out in a press release, but if you want to do it, we'd be really, really happy for you to do it. We'd much prefer you to do it. Um, and then we got this very odd response back. And I can't tell you how odd it was, but it was incre incredibly different from the initial one. And seemed to be almost a, a backtrack um, and disappointing, I guess, because we were really, really delighted after all these years that n not much has been said. And I mean, it was done in the context of the Chelsea Manning support, you see. So we thought, well, if you guys are going to support Chelsea Manning, <laughs> it follows on. There's been a petition as well, which is up to, I think, um, over a thousand anyway, signatures at the moment, um, asking Amnesty to, you know, make us further statements of support. But we're just a bit quizzical about what happened there. And if there is, maybe there is um, responsibilities, as you say, to the uh, Amnesty International overall, um, or, you know, that's what I was just trying to uncover, really, is is what what's the deal, really, <laughs> if that's possible. I mean, but Julian is Australian, yeah? Oh, the, what, what work could they be doing that would mean that they couldn't respond on Julian Assange? But but what would be the reason to put to put out like I don't know six bullet points of wonderfully supportive statements on Julian Assange from Erica and then to suddenly backtrack them and it almost I have to say the end of the email almost looked like a standard form refusal letter as though I was an individual with human rights problems and I was surprised because obviously it's not me as an individual I'm I, I was then the outreach director. Um, so, you know, so asking you from a large organisation, there's 3,000 of us working online. We're sort of like a non-violent online army, if you like. Um, and there's an awful lot of people wanting to know what Amnesty is up to here. So, you know, we were just quizzical about that. I mean, um, Julian Assange was given an award by you guys, by Amnesty International. So to desert him when he's been six months in solitary confinement seems odd. But that was the second. That was the second email, the one that was a sort of standard form response for, as though I was an individual, where it seemed to backtrack. That was the second email. The first one was five very supportive comments that, even if you just made those public, would be um, a, a breath of fresh air, frankly, to a hell of a lot of people online. I don't know if you realise quite how many million people support WikiLeaks, but I mean, it's huge. And to to not have Amnesty do this when it's about human rights and an Australian who's being very much um, a political <laughs> refugee who's being abused right now, tortured, because the definition of torture is 14 days uh, in solitary confinement. He's been six months. I, I just don't quite understand. And I'd like to understand a little bit more what the barrier is here. And perhaps you can put me through to someone who can explain exactly what is the barrier and where is it coming from. I did speak to them back then when I was the outreach director. <laughs> um, 
So, I mean, I'm just not doing it now because I've got an awful lot of work to do and I have just stepped down when someone else is doing it now. That's it. But I am calling as an individual, a concerned individual. I mean, put it this way, we're at the point where we think that there should be a campaign to to um, to fund Amnesty International to to say we will pledge funding to you personally, get a campaign of people who say we will do that, but only in the circumstances where you will speak out for Julian Assange in some way. Um, that is, seems to be the best step for us to proceed to try and force a hand. And, and if there is a blockage, I really, really would like to know who to talk to to find out who that is, what that is, the reason for it. And is it international? It's not coming from within Australia? Well, maybe I should speak to them then. Maybe maybe that's the best way. If you guys are hamstrung and can't, can't really do anything, even if you wanted to, then perhaps I need to speak to the next person up. How else could you explain it when someone's human rights are being abused in such an appalling way when they're such a hero? I mean, how else could you explain it? It's like Nelson Mandela of our time. Seriously here. Yeah, but he's the one who's uncovering them as well as everything else. So let's, you know, let's save him first so that we can have free breath, you know? Seriously, like he's the one who's getting the information out there about the kind of human rights abuses that you guys can then fight for. So why are we actually abusing, abusing his rights quite happily? Okay, well, what's a name and a number? Then I'll call them on Monday. Anita. Sweet. Thank you very much anyway. And I do hope that you support Julian Assange, even if you can't within your organisation. Be great. <laughs> Just have a look at it. Look at the facts. Um, be great. Yeah. Oh, hello there. Um, Russell and Noonan has been trying to get me in touch with Meg Durand, I think her name is. I haven't talked to her yet. Um... Yeah, it's just regarding, I'm, um, formerly I was the outreach director for an organisation called Unity 4J, um, and now I'm just calling as an individual, it's regarding the um, Assange um, potential campaign, or not, or lack of. <laughs> yeah, Gillian Assange Wikileaks. It's Alex Hills, and I'm I'm from Free Assange NZ and Unity 4J, um, but I'm calling as an individual, really not as part of Unity 4J right now. Sure, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Alex Hills, and I'll give my mobile. Um, and I was interested in trying to get hold of the International Secretariat or whoever it is that is potentially stopping Amnesty from being able to campaign for Julian Assange being. Um, we emailed Australian Amnesty about it and we got a great supportive message back. It was really wonderful because we hadn't heard any good stuff from Amnesty regarding Julian and we we're really proud that they'd finally spoken out, but um, we never got them to actually make it public in a press release and then they backtracked it so we were just like oh what's going on so we're just trying to find out what the barrier is and I think Rosalyn had um, tried to get me in touch um, with Meg because she was rather busy but she wanted to try and um, put me in touch with the right person just to discuss the you know what what might be the blockage it might be I don't know a funder or someone who disagrees with it I don't know but yeah thank you so much okay all right Bye. Oh, hi there. Can I speak to Meg Durand at all? It's Alex Hills. Um, she has emailed the International Secretariat for me, but I've never heard back from them. And I'm just, I'm just sort of chasing. I chased Ross, um, but she's in Myanmar, so really, there's no one else I can talk to. Right. It's just, it's been, it's quite, been quite a long time already. It's been two weeks since that email went through. And I, I mean, initially contacted Rosslyn um, probably about two months ago. Um, so we, I feel a little on the runaround here and I just want a name. Can I have the name of the International Secretariat, please? Well, whoever the head of that department is. And, and that, that essentially is the International Secretariat or, and, um, based at what office? UK? I still do really want an answer because I, I mean, I don't want to have to phone up Australia and England all the time just to get an answer, which is supposed to be an official answer. <laughs> so, okay. Um, because I mean, my initial, like I said, my initial email, um, was quite a long time ago now. Um, 17th of October and, um, phone calls long before that. I've been also ringing Australia before that. So it's just been going on too long now. 
Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. It's okay if the answer is no. It's just the answer has got to be said and it's got to be up to date because the website um, statement on Assange is based on information which has been debunked long ago. So I think really it requires an update. And you guys gave him an award and now are completely silent on him when you're happy to speak out for Chelsea. So it just sort of smacks of irony and stu silly silliness that I'd like to uncover, please. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Okay. Cheers. All right. Bye. Oh, well, hello there. I was actually wondering if I could speak to Anita. I thought she was on the media team. Oh, is she? Okay. Um, I am, I was formerly the outreach director for Unity 4J. We're a group, a global group for uh, Julian Assange. Um, and there had been a little bit of, I'm, I'm not now doing that because my day job needed more work, but um, uh, I was just ringing on my own behalf, really, um, just trying to uncover uh, who gives the directives um, and who the international secretariat might be that is um, instructing Amnesty not to campaign about Julian. It's just, it would be nice to know where this instruction is coming from, if that's possible. Media at Amnesty. Um, okay. Yeah. And do you have any inkling yourself? Yeah, it's just that, um, I mean, he's even been denied food this week. And I think the statement that I, I mean, I've been, I'm calling from New Zealand. Um, I've tried the board members here and in the UK, um, just trying to get an answer out of them. And it's just, you know, going round and round in circles. So I was trying to avoid having to ring Australia <laughs> if possible, but it's not, it's not seeming like I'm getting any answers from any, um, I've tried Ross Noonan, I've tried Meg Durand, um, I mean, to be fair, uh, Ross is in uh, Myanmar at the moment, so yeah, fair, fair due that she hasn't come back to me. But um, I've been forced to kind of go back to Australia. And the thing is, um, yeah, I, I just don't really understand when someone's being literally tortured in central London against UN rulings, how that can be just ignored. I mean, he is an Australian citizen, right? Um, my concern is that, that Amnesty works off information, the sort of information that WikiLeaks releases, and yet is not protecting, you know, the person who has, has put his neck on the block for it. Um, you do. Oh, that's really good to hear. I'm, I'm relieved. No, I understand. I understand. Yes, I'm always happy to hear someone who's a supporter. <gasps> yeah. Okay, and what was your name again? Michelle, thank you. Okay, I'll send an email now. Yeah, media at amnesty.org.au. Okay, thanks. Bye.